I often wondered if the police still used cassettes. Often in movies and TV shows, when a suspect or a witness is being questioned, they are being recorded with a cassette deck. I especially noticed this on the 2013 series Broadchurch. So with digital being so prevalent, why would cassettes even still be used? Now before we go any further, I just wanted to remind you to please subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe to my channel, it helps my channel grow and it enables me to make more videos just like this one. So if you would subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Now, there are actually a number of reasons why the police still use cassettes. First of all, there is a huge backlog of tapes stretching back for decades. So it would only stand to reason that they would still need tape decks to play these old tapes or at least to digitize them. Second, cassettes can be surprisingly long lasting, especially when stored properly. Tapes that are 30 to 40 years old can often still be very playable. Third, tapes are still very easy to use, affordable and very portable. It does not require software to be played and tapes are still manufactured and are relatively cheap. Now it should be mentioned that cassettes are still used by many police forces, especially in the United Kingdom. Now I read that there are 43 police forces in England and it is estimated that each force uses up to 200,000 tapes each year. So if you do the math, that's millions of tapes per year. Now it should be noted that there is definitely a move towards digital. Many police forces have moved towards digital, especially in the USA. Although I would wager that there are still many courtrooms and many US police stations still using cassettes. Another reason why police still use tape is that it is supposedly harder to tamper with evidence stored on a cassette than it would be to tamper with a digital file. Many people feel that tapes are simply more secure. Now years ago there was a plan to switch to digital in the United Kingdom and it is estimated that that switch would have cost £360,000. So it was decided to just stick with the system that was already in place. Many people in the law enforcement community have the attitude of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Thank you for watching. Hope you can join us again next time. Please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up and please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you can join us again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.